We shall now proceed with the oath of the office and signature of the offers of employment. Dr. C. I congratulate you, Dr. Saya, on your appointment as Regional Director and convey our best wishes for your success in all your endeavours. I shall now invite you to stand up and take the oath. I, Dr. Saya Mapiukala, solemnly swear to exercise in all loyalty, discretion and conscience a function entrusted to me as an international civil servant of the World Health Organization to discharge those functions and regulate my conduct with the interests of the World Health Organization, only in view and not to seek or accept instruction in regard to the performance of my duties from any government or other authority external to the organization. I would like now to invite Dr. Sia to sign the oath of office as well as both copies of the offer of employment. Madam Chair, Honourable Ministers, Distinguished Delegates, Director General Dr. Tedros, WHO colleagues, partners, ladies and gentlemen. Today I stand before you as your next WIPRO Regional Director and I am deeply moved and honoured and I thank you, Member States and the Executive Board for the trust bestowed on me. As the first regional director from the Pacific, the enormity of the task is not lost on me. And while this is a moment of pride for our Pacific people, I want to reassure you that I, wa that I will be a regional director for all our members. We all have stories and upon reflecting where I came from, I find it such a blessing how I once was a barefoot boy running around the beaches of my small island that I now stand among the giants in public health at the World Health Organization. And this proof that no one really is left behind. And despite our different stories, we all can have something to contribute to our work. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to be done. I intend to listen, be counseled, and guided by you. Together, we can make the difference that is needed. The Western Pacific is one of the most diverse regions in terms of population, land mass, and economies. And if we look across Asia and the Pacific, the health challenges are primarily the same, but different in scale. Infectious diseases, NCDs, mental health, MCH, malnutrition, access to healthcare, aging population, climate change, and emerging threats. In recent years, our region accounted for 80% of the total global new displacement related to disasters, becoming the world's most climate vulnerable region. Critically, every person deserves access to basic preventive care. Challenges like this underscore why we must pursue transformational primary health care and universal health coverage to chart a better course. In my first 100 days and beyond, that will be 
key among my six thematic priorities for our region. First, promote an integrated approach to health system development, which uses primary health care to achieve universal health coverage. Second, accelerate action on climate change and health. In our region, we feel the threat acutely, and we are prepared to demonstrate leadership. Third, build on the lessons of the last pandemic before the next one arrives. Fourth, you have my commitment to work closely with member states through country visits and invest time to understand each country's unique priorities and serve with humility and evidence-based practices. Fifth, strengthen our way of working. We are needed focus on reshaping work stream, change management, and ensuring a smooth transition process. Finally, our staff is the life force of WHO's work. It's time to heal hearts and return to our core values, respect, trust, solidarity, resilience, and a people-centered approach. That is why I will put Healing Hearts initiative for the staff at the front and the center of my first 100 days and beyond. I'd like to acknowledge the contribution of my predecessors, the Acting Regional Director, Dr. Susanna Yakab, and Regional Directors before her. Without the past, there is no present or future. I'd also like to acknowledge my beloved family, my wife, Sustina, our daughters, Letwina, Vika, Esther, and Krenzan Kianu, who have been my source of strength. I look forward to working closely with member states, the Director General, my brother here, Dr. Tetros and your team, my fellow regional directors and country officers to fulfill the TBW and ensure that WHO is successful. Let us work for a world where no barefoot child looking out at the rising sea needs to worry about what the future holds for his or her health or the health of their families. Hello, Peter. And I thank you, Madam Chair.